Hello everybody and welcome to my channel once again. The content of today's video is an excerpt of a tutorial I'm creating on Rails API development, which I hope to have ready in the following months. Many times you may have heard that some languages support multiple inheritance, but is Ruby one of them? So before we can answer that question, we need to understand first the concepts of inheritance and module mixings. So let's go first with Inheritance. Inheritance is a mechanism that allows a class to inherit behavior and attributes from another class. In an inheritance relationship, there are usually two sides. The first one is the class that inherits the attributes and behavior, which is called the child class or the subclass. And then the class that this child class inherits the attributes and behavior from, which is called the parent class or super class. So let's understand inheritance better with a simple example. We will have in one hand a doctor class and in the other hand a surgeon class. The surgeon class will be a specialization of the doctor class, which basically will inherit all the attributes and methods from the doctor class, but will redefine a method we will have to check whether the, that person can do surgery or not. So let's see that in the, in the interactive Ruby session, um, let's create a doctor class, which will have um, two reader attributes, two reader methods, sorry. This, to check um, the name and speciality. Speciality, sorry. Of that doctor, then we define the constructor. We provide the name and the speciality again. And we assign that, oops, to a class variable name speciality okay and then we have this method does surgery which in this case we will set to false indicating that a regular doctor can't do surgery Okay, um, and so we will have then a, another class, which is the surgeon, which inherits from doctor. This is the notation in Ruby to say that we are inheriting, um, sorry, that the class is inheriting from another class. And in this case, we don't need to define the attribute reader methods for name and speciality or the constructor because these ones will be inherited from the doctor class. So we will only redefine the does surgery method. And in this case, since this is at surgeon and surgeons can do surgery, we will return true. So uh, let's check that. Um, that as create a doctor object, let's say in doctor, oops, doctor new, and let's um, call this doctor uh, uh, Sienna Johnson. These aren't real names, I mean, I have just thought about them, um, which is an allergist. Uh, so we can check if the name and the speciality of this doctor because we have set the attribute reader methods for them for it and yeah that's the the name we provided and then the speciality let's check that everything works okay great allergist so um can this doctor does can do surgery we get no, false right so, but what about if we define instead a surgeon, Oops, surgeon, um, which we can name uh, 
gene Hampton. Uh, we can say gene is a dermatologist. Logist, I think you write it that way. Right? Um, and then the surgeon, um, do you um, should have the name, right? And the and the specialty methods because it's inheriting them from doctor. But let's check that. So you can see it has inherited the method the same for the uh, speciality and as you can also uh, see we didn't define a constructor for surgeon we just used the constructor that we had for doctor so it also inherited that but what about the data surgery method will it return true or will it remove return sorry false so if we check that method we see now that we have predefined that uh, in the surgeon class and everything is working here so as you can see um, that's the simple inheritance in ruby and it's pretty straightforward so let's see now the concept of modules modules are in short classes that cannot be instantiated you typically use them to group together related methods and attributes that you will later use, as we will see in the following example. So this here will be a simple example of a module in which you can put constants and methods and how can we access those. So let's imagine that we have a module and we name it. It's going to be a greater module. Uh, we are going to define a constant Salutation, um, it's going to be uh, hello. And then we define a method there, um, which we can ask, um, then later access. Uh, let's call it grid and let us provide a name. And then um, we just, of a string and interpolate there the salutation uh, which in this case we don't need to provide the name of the module because we are accessing the constant inside the module itself so we say salutation and then we also interpolate the name that we have provided as an attribute Okay, so this is the simple greeter module. So how would you access now the constants and the uh, method there? So we can um, either use the, um, either call directly the, uh, I mean invoke the method by uh, using the uh, greeter, uh, the module as a receiver. So we have the greet, we can greet there and we say greet um, Alberto, for example, and it says hello Alberto. Um, so we can access that or we can use the scope resolution operator, for example, to use the constant. We will access that by saying greeter scope resolution operator and there you can see that you can access the salutation constant. So now that you know the concepts of inheritance and modules, you are ready to understand whether Ruby can support multiple inheritance. So in the doctor and surgeon example, we could see how Ruby supports single inheritance. Single inheritance is just the kind of inheritance in which a child class inherits attributes and behavior, that is methods, from a single parent class. Now. Multiple inheritance is the kind of inheritance in which a child class inherits behavior and attributes from several classes. So is Ruby capable of doing that? The short answer is no. And the long answer is kind of. Let me explain that to you.
So if you look at the concept of inheritance in the strict sense of the word, then Ruby is not capable of having multiple inheritance. But as we saw before, we can put the behavior and attributes in different modules. And then we can include those modules in our class using the concept of modules mixing, which we will see now. And then achieving a kind of multiple inheritance. Let's see that now. Module mixings is a tool in Ruby that allows modules and classes to get new functionality by including other modules. When a module is included in the definition of another module or class, all the methods, attributes and constants of that module are made available to the module or class including it. Let's see that. Okay, let's see module mixings with a simplified version of the greater module. And I say simplified because in this case we are not going to have a constant and we are not going to provide any methods. Sorry, attributes to the greater method. Instead, we will get those from the attribute greater methods uh, of a class person in which we will mix in this module, as you will see now. So we define the module greater in this case uh, without providing any parameter here and we just will say hello um, oops, sorry um, interpolation uh, name and it's going to have a also a surname name okay that's it so and now we define a class person and we include the greater module here. Now is when we are creating the mixing and that's it. Uh, that, that means that the person class will also have the grid method available to it. So we define then the attribute reader methods for name and surname so that they can be accessed by the grid uh, method and we define a initialize um, methods for the constructor and we provide the name and surname and we say that uh, we assign those to the class variables uh, surname we do the same and that should be it so now we can create a person uh, which of course is going to be named John Doe and see if this can greet. Oh my god! Oh, I say name. Mm. Yeah, I was like getting crazy. What did I do wrong? So it's new, not name. My bad. So let's say person um, uh, greet and see if we can access that. It's already provided by the auto suggest. So as you can imagine, it worked. So include is not the only way of using module mixings. You can also use extend or prepend. But since I have already made a video on the topic i will leave you the link on the description down below so that you can check that if you want to see that in more detail so now one question that probably comes to your mind is should i use inheritance or should i use module mixing let's be clear in ruby inheritance is a very important dependency and it's very important because there is a single place for it a class can only inherit from another class. Once you use that dependency, it's gone. So when deciding whether to use inheritance or module mixings, I would usually recommend you to use module mixings unless you are very sure that you should be using inheritance. So before using inheritance, ask yourself first, is class B? really an specialization of class A. Although this might seem 
counterintuitive at first. If you come from a language like Java, as I, as I did, in which you only have the mechanism of inheritance, it's not once you get used to that. And if Ruby gives you more tools than other languages, shouldn't you using the best tool for the job? I think you should. And that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please smash the like button. Leave me also a comment down below so that I know which topics you want me to talk about and hope to see you in my next video. Adios.